It was an emotional game Sunday for the Broncos team and fans alike. Outside the stadium, a memorial stood for the late Broncos wide receiver, number 88, Demarius Thomas. On the field, the team using their first play of the game as a powerful tribute for DT. CBS 4's Michael Abeda shows us more. The Broncos put up a very beautiful memorial for Demarius Thomas, including this floral wreath where fans could come and add flowers of their own. And their mood among fans was somber. I feel really sad for him. Ask Stan Solano who his favorite Bronco of the last 10 years is, and he won't hesitate to tell you it's Demarius Thomas. He's probably the best receiver we ever had. He, like thousands of others, came early to the game to mourn and remember the Bronco great who died at the age of just 33. For him to pass so soon, it just was really like heartbreaking for me. Case and Nightpipe is just 12, so he was a youngster when Demarius played for the team. But even back then, he knew there was something special about 88. He was the first ever football player that I knew the name of. And ever since then, I said, this guy's going to be my favorite football player. Today is going to be a special game, a special day. Emma and Beverly Morgan say they too were huge Demarius Thomas fans, not only for the way he played, but also because of what he went through while achieving his NFL stardom. They say they too grew up without a mother and are saddened that he was taken from her just a few years after she came back into his life. I'm sending my condolences and prayers to his family and the whole Denver organization. And while all of these Broncoholics always want Denver to win, they say win or lose, the game will never be the same without DT. He played good for us for 10 years. And I loved every, every game he played in. Now, in addition to the thousands of fans that showed up here, Peyton Manning also came by with his family to pay his respects to his fallen teammates. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.